Welcome to another episode of Conversations with the Fly Aunt. I am your Fly Aunt, Ebony Ivory. Today we have a special guest in the house, the Fly Daughter, Naya. Hi, everybody. I'm back. We're glad to have her back in the fold as she does have a very busy, busy schedule. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we are all dressed up, looking very cutesy. Very demure. <laughs> if you know, you know. We be in the social media street. So if you know, you know. We are a little low cut today. A little but bosom. Still, but still giving very demure. And in our demure state, we thought that we should discuss dating and dating expectations and some unrealistic dating expectations mm -hmm. so let's just hop on into it my very opinionated and demure daughter very cutesy very classy very opinionated and very mindful mm -hmm. kick us off with some unrealistic dating expectations that you run into out here in these streets oh y'all know i love to talk about money <laughs> know i love to talk about money um I think a very big unrealistic dating expectation. So I just turned 24. I'm a young little tenderoni, but I do have a career. I'm a nurse. So I make more money than an average 24 year old would make. So I think it's very unrealistic to go into a dynamic with someone and expect them to just be rich and to buy you bags and jewelry and all these different things like I just think that's just not realistic you have to be very mindful of the age range that you're dating in um, some people like to date up and they like to date older and some people like to date people a little bit younger or within their age range so I think finances is definitely a big thing I think sometimes girls my age and younger girls I've been that girl so I would know they always think that they're gonna date this rich man who's going to take care of them and sweep them off their feet and sometimes people are just not there yet some people haven't figured out what they want to do with themselves yet they haven't figured out their financial situation yet um, some people just may not be fiscally responsible they may be creating that income and that income may be coming in but they may not afford to be able to take care of you their bills and themselves like that's just not a real thing so i think that's the, like one of the biggest um unrealistic dating expectations right now is money and expecting to be dating uh, taken care of yeah basically it, out the gate you know taking care baby, of he is not jeff bezos like i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay so that is one for sure um on the opposite end so when she'll give her unrealistic expectation i'm gonna give a realistic expectation okay. okay so in conjunction with speaking about finances i feel like it we have to be um more realistic in the aspect that you should always i i agree aspire all of those good things but we like to live by the adage of be a reflection of what it is that you mm -hmm. want so if you can go out here and you can buy, you know, the bags, the purses and take care of yourself and do everything, then, of course, that's a requirement you can expect of the other person. So be a reflection of what it is that you want. I take very good care um, of myself. Uh, my daughter does as well. So the same things that we provide for ourselves we have that expectation that the partner that we select, yes. because selection is important because you want to be mindful, um, we have those expectations that those people that we do select uh, will be able to do the same thing. So be a reflection of what it is that you want. It's so, 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 so important. Definitely. If you can't buy it for yourself twice, don't expect anybody to buy it for you once. <laughs> and that's the word. Clock it. <laughs> What's another unrealistic uh, expectation you've heard out here? I think another unrealistic expectation that I've heard out here, it's not unrealistic. I think it's very realistic, but I feel like for my age range, it's kind of unrealistic. Okay. Is being able to date someone who can just, is a perfect communicator. It's just not realistic for my age range, I don't believe. I just feel like, you're especially with men too i feel like now like 
we're like breaking down those barriers where men are feeling more comfortable to be able to communicate and express their feelings and to like be more emotional. A lot of men have not tapped into where they can start being, you know, a little bit more soft. And I feel like it's kind of unrealistic to expect the if I'm 24 to be dating another 24 year old and they expect him to be able to communicate and articulate his feelings that well I just think that's just not real I think you have to give someone time and you need to also be able to understand someone's communication styles because the way you communicate and the way that you um, receive information may be the total opposite for that person so you have to be very mindful of that I don't think it's unrealistic in general I think it's just unrealistic for my age range Okay, that's a great point. But I also think you're, you, you, I agree with what you're saying. Um, communication is a big thing. Um, it's unrealistic for you to think just because that you're a great communicator in your 40s that you're going to meet another person in their 40s and they're going to be a great communicator yeah. as well. I, I mean, I would love to be able to establish great communication with some men, but some men, they just don't have it in their arsenal. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to have a realistic expectation that, you know, everybody's at a certain age, but there's certain things that, I don't have time to train you or condition you or help you build and work on. Yes. So I think a realistic expectation is, is dating within your means. Yes. And means often people speak about means as far as finances, finances and, and it's money, not, but it could be emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. It could be your communication style. It could be cultural intelligence. All of those things factor in. So when we talk about means and dating, you have to date within your means. Like if you want somebody that's, you know, for example, that's just passive and you can do and say and speak to them however you want, um, then you should date somebody like that. Um, I wouldn't necessarily be the person for you and yeah. that's quite all right, but you know, find the person that best matches you and best suits you and your needs. I agree. To piggyback off of that, um, I had a situation recently where I was trying to communicate with someone and they were, it was a heated conversation. I'll be honest. It was a heated um, exchange. exchange. Okay. And I expressed to them, I said, you know, I actually need you to utilize your comprehension skills, but I need you to utilize them to maximum capacity, all time high. This is someone who's years older than me. Mm. So it's not even, you won't just experience these things with just someone that's your age. age. Like yep. it's still adults pushing 30 in their 30s or even pushing their 40s who and they still can't communicate and like you said like sometimes you with dating your means I wouldn't be able to pursue anything with this individual because I cannot break everything down to a science with you like if I say something and you don't understand it and I explain it once okay cool but I'm not going to break things down to milligrams and micrograms and nanograms just to make sure that you understood my basic statement. Well, I will say this. I I do understand where you're coming from, but we also have to remember with communication, sometimes we do have to speak to people in a way that they're able to receive it. Definitely. Right. Definitely. So I just don't want people to think that, oh, if you say something once and they don't get it. Yeah, no. It it's never just like, oh, I just said it once and you didn't understand. So by it's more just like okay i'm going to explain things to you in a way i'm going to break it down for you i'm never just going to speak to you like you're like i'm a doctor like right. i will speak to you in a way that i feel like that you can understand but if i'm still speaking it to you in a way and you're not understanding i cannot spend time or dedicate time to someone who's gung-ho on misinterpreting me that's another factor too uh, I will also say this too. Sometimes people communication styles just don't match. We come from a very straightforward family. Um, we say it like we mean it and you may meet somebody that, you know, they kind of beat around the bush. They don't say what it is, how they feel. So, you know, communication style. So make sure yeah. that that matches. Um, I would like to say, uh, for what I've noticed in my age range, uh, unrealistic dating expectation sometimes is sometimes, um, men in their 40s, 50s, they're looking to date women in their 20s and 20s and 30s. Definitely. And I think that's like a bit unrealistic. Like why would you 
Well, we know why, maybe, but we know why. Why you want to date somebody half your age. But let me ask you this. Let's give the guys some help. What do you think about men that when they're in their forties or their fifties and they're trying to talk to you or approach you, what do you really think about them? He been give me some what? He been a spender. But Oh, no, seriously, seriously. I, that usually is one of the first things that crossed my mind. Um, but the way I decipher if this is a person that I would even be remotely interested in pursuing is that I can't date anyone that's too close to my mom's age because at that point you should be dating my mom. That's for one. For two, if this person habitually goes after girls my age, if you are habitually going after females my age, that means that woman your age don't want nothing to do with you. And if women your age don't want nothing to do with you, I don't want nothing to do with you either because there is a clear reason why you cannot pick up a lady of your age. That's very apparent. And then also too, um, if this is like a habitual thing, you just want someone that you can manipulate and someone mm -hmm. you can take advantage of. And I may be young, but I'm not dumb. Like I know if someone's trying to take advantage of me or man manipulate me. So I think that's just uh, the big reason why they go after females my age. Usually because they can't get someone their age and they want someone that's easy. And not just easy sexually, someone that they can play with their mind just extremely easily. And you're not about to be playing. You're going to be stressing me out. What about this dating expectation? I recently read on social media this, unreal, this, this, this thing where people are testing people out testing people on dates he took a young lady out on a date mm -hmm. um and mm -hmm. he played and act like he forgot his wallet mm -hmm. and the young and he, he was testing her he had his wallet what do you think about people that test people on dates what do you think about that whole scenario i don't play games with people kids <laughs> i had a guy try to quiz me before like he um we went out on a date the date was great um, we were supposed to go out on another date. So let's say we went out on a Friday. We were supposed to go out again on a Tuesday. He didn't text me back. And I guess he thought that I was going to double text him or, like, you know, check in with him. And I didn't. And then he was like, oh, I was just testing you. If we're dating, this is not a pop quiz. Like, if you actually want to pursue me and you want to be with me, put that foot forward. But to piggyback off of that whole scenario, for me as a female, if, one, you, quote, unquote, forgot your wallet, and it's our first date, I'm already looking at you like you're irresponsible. You invited me out. I didn't invite you out. So you should have your wallet. I'm always going to have my wallet because my ID in there and I'm about to drink. <laughs> so I'm always going to have mine with me. And just in case, you know, if something does come up and I do have to pay for it, you know, maybe you forgot your card, but you're willing to send me the money and I'll pay for it. Like, I'm okay right. with that. But I think he was testing her. Right. And I think to test someone on your first date, I think that just shows the lack of maturity and I think that's an immediate red flag and you should run. Run for the hills, honey, run. Because, well said, mm -mm. well said. Immediate red flag because why are we going out? We're supposed to be getting to know each other and you're trying to test me? Yeah. Like this is not the time or the place for that. I'm not interested in being tested. Um, mm -hmm. Another, another um, I think is unreasonable um, expectation. Um, that some people may have is that um, our first date is that I'm going to be cooking for you. Because why do you think you're going to be in my house? Not only that, for me, I enjoy cooking. I love cooking. If you follow my um, social media, The Fly Aunt, um, I enjoy cooking. And some men, they do segue and say, oh, I would love for you to cook me, cook for me or this, that, and the other. And I understand that is a conversation opener. Mm -hmm. However, please don't think that I want to have a first date with you and I'm going to be cooking. Cooking is a lot of work. It for me, it is. Work, yeah. I, put a, it, I put a lot of love, effort, and time into what should. it is that I do when I prepare a meal for somebody. And actually, that's the way that I show people that I love and I care for them mm -hmm. is by preparing a meal for them. So if you... An unrealistic expectation for me, I'm not going to your home on a first date. Even if you offer to cook for me, I'm not doing that. We're, we're going to go into a public space and we're going to meet. So that's just unrealistic. Um, I'm very 
um, enact and oppose to individuals that are like, you don't know me at all. Why are you inviting me into your home? Like, I, I don't know you and you don't know me. Men or women shouldn't feel so comfortable um, to just have a seemingly stranger because again, we're dating, um, we're not exclusive. Um, me just come into your home. Everyone should know where you live, but don't let me go on a tangent, okay? Sorry. <laughs> but to, <laughs> to piggyback off of that though, that's why I don't let, when I go on dates, I don't let guys pick me up from my home. Like, and yes. I think it's a sweet gesture. I think it's so sweet that you want to pick me up and you don't want me to spin and waste gas and drive. But I just feel like everyone should not know where you lay your head at. That is your safe space. And sometimes when you do rub people the wrong way, that's how they try to get back at you by doing things to your home or trying to demolish your home or your reputation in your neighborhood. So mm. we can meet up. We can, I can come to your house and I can park there and then we can drive there. But Coming to my house and picking me up is just a no-no for me. It's just a very big safety precaution that I like to take. Well, meeting at the location is my preferred. My preferred. I prefer to do that too. And I. You will meet at the location. Um, that's fine. Uh, another. What do you think? Another unrealistic expectation you run into maybe. Hmm. Hmm. The unrealistic expectation that I have ran into lately would be um what about like if like oh you know when i have i think is like we go out and we're just having drinks and then you think i'm supposed to bust it wide open for you afterwards because you paid for drinks like <laughs> no that's not that's not a part of the process and another thing i feel as though people really need to get into as we discuss dating is your boundaries up front and your intentions up front like if you're just looking to have someone that you want to have maybe a friends with benefits, if we go out on a date and then we hook up after, then I think you need to state that that's what your intention is and that you can date within your means and find somebody that wants to do the same thing. I think I agree a thousand percent. <laughs> I think that you should state your intentions whenever I date or I find someone. If I'm going to date this person or even go out with this person, I ask them, what are your intentions? What are you trying to do? Like, mm. And I make my intentions clear, too, because sometimes even with the whole friends with benefits thing, I feel like most of the time guys never want to say, oh, I want to be friends with benefits because they feel like that's going to run the female away. I think it's not necessary to have to manipulate someone into having sex with them or trying to coerce them into having sex with them. It's not necessary and it's actually quite disgusting. A lot of females, despite contrary belief, a lot of females are interested in being friends with benefits. They, right. They're they okay with that, but right. you have to express that and you have to make that clear right. because now you're thinking, oh, I want to just be friends with benefits with her. And she's thinking, okay, this person's actually interested in me. Now she's creating an emotional attachment, which could have been avoided if you just told her that I'm not interested in being your man. I'm j I just want to see. All right. Well, I think that was a good one to close it out with. We're going to close out the episode. Um, I just want to say follow me on all my social media platforms, The Fly Aunt. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Um, please engage with me, comment, like, and subscribe on my YouTube. And we are on all podcasting platforms, conversations with The Fly Aunt. And Sanaya, tell the people where they can find you. You guys can find me on Instagram at zam.ny, Z-A-A-M-N dot N-Y-Y double A double Y. And guess what? You know what else you can do is go out on a date with yourself. Or if you have a daughter, y'all go out on a little date mm -hmm. and have some drinks. And then enjoy your own company with yeah. your girlfriends or with yourself. Yeah. Like, you don't have to wait around on somebody else. You have to, to take, you out. To take yeah. you out. Take yourself out. Take yourself out. Embrace your individuality and have a good time. Because mm -hmm. we're going to probably just have us a little drinky drink after do we the wrap same up thing. here. All right. So we will see you on the next episode. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye.